Right, good morning, good morning. We're staying in this fabulous uh, little place with, with, um, let me turn that down. With, with Airbnb, which, have we ever done it before? Yeah, take some time. When? That's because I book it, so you don't normally know. Ah. <laughs> I booked this one and it was with a, a gentleman called Simon who apparently is a motorbiker, he's got lots of motorbikes, and he's the guy that told us to do that road yesterday. Um, sadly, it was really greasy and wet, and we were both exhausted, weren't we? Uh, we'll show you a bit of it. We'll show you a bit of it. Well, you would have seen it already, but because this is the next day, but um, we're cooking breakfast. I'll show you around the house. We're cooking breakfast. Mr. Tom style. Um, yeah, this is. Chucks everything in the pan. Chuck everything in the pan. Don't let them eggs. Nah, it's alright. Kim has a habit of hard boiling I the eggs. I do not. <laughs> what do you like? Right, I'll, I'll quickly show you around while Kim finishes our delicacy. <laughs> this is the living area. I'm gonna switch the lights on. Quite nice. There's all my GoPro stuff. For those of you that are interested, this thing is brilliant. All I do is every night is take the um, card from that, shove it in the side of that, and it downloads everything onto that. I put it in there and wipe it. So each day is stored on there, which is great. There's my little batteries. It would be nice if GoPro didn't change their blooming battery shape every freaking year. They're worse than iPhones. Right, you're all... Okay, I'm just going to quickly show everybody around here. It's a bit dark at the moment. Pissing it down outside. Here's the bedroom. It's where all the magic happens. <laughs> or not. <laughs> there is the... Uh, all our bike gear. So we'll quickly look outside. Nice place where we stand. It's kind of like a... Um, 1940s, 1950s Kiwi house. Um, you know, it's got the high ceilings. Um, and, you know, it's, it's old. It's, you know, wooden floors. But it's really nice. And it's very clean. Very clean, very tidy. They've even got... I can open these curtains now. Can't see that, but behind all that cloud is Mount Ropehu, which we, we're going to try and go up today. But look, um, there's room for kids. There's a PlayStation, a TV, loads of games. So it, it's pretty blooming good. Nicely decked out, really happy. Thank you, Simon, if you see this video. There's actually another room in here as well, which we're not using. Um, really cool. Obviously for two people it was quite expensive but if you were to do family and kids you know maybe another couple it's bargain. Oh, it's bargain. Expect. Yeah it's bargain. Right I think we're gonna eat breakfast and watch a movie because outside is um, really unpleasant isn't it? Hard to say what the weather's doing. Yeah. Today. It's kind of a bit showery. Um, the good news is that tomorrow we were expecting it to be very bad weather tomorrow, pissing it down all day. Um, the good news is um, it looks like the rain is going to blow over today. So even if today we just sort of chill and eat and watch movies, I'll be pretty happy because the four slash five hours it's going to take us to get to Auckland tomorrow, we definitely, definitely don't want to be doing that in the pouring rain. So hopefully tomorrow is a nice day. Anyway, we'll, uh, we'll eat our breakfast, we'll watch a movie, and we'll see if we can get out on the bike, which is, poor thing, is just sat out in the rain at the moment. <laughs> but stop it. Bye. 
test it. Tom. Okay. Mm, top wiener. I had mine on. Yes, it's going. Right, I'm just going to double, triple check. Right, let's do it. Okay. That shut's on it, yeah. Getting on. Yeah. Yeah, we've done, I'll just have a quick look actually, hold on, we've done trip. It says 1,100 there, but you've got to add the 200 before we started tripping it. Um, we went fairly. So we've done 1,300 kilometres on our journey so far. That's quite a bit. Yeah, it's good going for us. From the middle of the South Island to the middle of the North Island, so we've gone quite a long way. Um, super straight with the weather. It was awful yesterday, cloudy and raining and quite cold actually. And we were like, uh oh. But today, look at it. We just waited this morning and sort of. Uh, it is supposed to rain tonight, and then tomorrow's supposed to be cloudy but fine. Okay, that's all right. As long as we're cloudy but fine, okay. But mm -hmm. I can live with that. Don't want rain. So this is Owakuni. Yeah, this is the wee winter resort town. We had a Owakuni. coffee there this morning, didn't we? Yeah, really good coffee. Really so good. Yeah, Utopia. Excellent coffee. Oh, that's it, yeah. Really nice guy there. Cool little cafe there. Mm. There's actually loads of cool little cafes around. Right, we're going up that thing. There's everything here. Oh, I need to go to yeah, the... Yeah, there's your chemist there. Yes, I need to get some ice solution. I've got a big, nice big one too. So That's what she said. Right, oh, would you stop saying that? It's not even funny. <laughs> What's that there? Bakery. Burgers, pies and cakes. No, right, it's a glorious day. Look at them big fluffy white clouds. Do with them. Um, yeah, this is going to be exciting. I haven't done this up Rupehu since um, the, we the day ago. after we got married. Yeah, 12 years ago. Well, 12 years in July. 12 and a half years ago. Yeah. I mean, we were young and slim and thin. Yeah, our honeymoon we spent up this mountain snowboarding with, um, Tom. with my mum, my dad and my sister who came and over from England. Your brother. My, what's my, yeah, my brother. Luke, Luke and Bri were there too. Yeah. Um, and the kids. Yeah, the whole family. Dawn and Tara and we stayed at the courthouse, the old courthouse in Rice, Rice, Rice East. So that's the last time, the, the, the day after we got married. I was 75 kilograms. Six months later, I was 90. I think I was 52 or 50. It might have been 50 kilograms. <laughs> Both quite slim on their wedding day, weren't we? Yeah, not so for I long. I think that's quite normal, though, isn't it? And then you get married and you pack on the pounds a bit, don't yeah. you? Yeah. It's called happiness. <laughs> that's, what it, after you. that's what it's called, happiness. <laughs> <laughs> What's that there? Some sort of quarry with amazing a bike park, is stone it? Um, strata. Can you see it? Look at that. Oh. Maybe it is a quarry. Might have to check that out on the way down. Yeah. Check it out. Check it out. Uh, my cheeks are still getting hammered, so um, sorry if my voice sounds a bit funny. Interesting fact. Tom doesn't very, very rarely will he drink wine. It has to be amazing for Tom to drink wine. Anyway, so I got this bottle of red last night called um, it's Pepper Jack, which is an Australian red Shiraz. Absolutely delicious. I love Australian red. Some of are off the belly if you like a good red wine. Anyway, Tom went, oh, this is quite nice. And he had the most yeah. horrendous ulcers in his mouth. And he woke up this morning and said, do you know what? I think that wine might have how, um, fixed my ulcers. And I was like, <laughs> Kim was <"Yeah."> like, here. 
drink this, it fixes everything. <laughs> <laughs> Mentally, physically, fixes everything. Emotionally. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> drink oh, this. Right. And he goes, oh, I think we should get another bottle of it tonight. And I was like, what? <laughs> Kim, Kim's uh, on holiday as a bottle of night girl, aren't you? Well, actually, to be fair, the last time we drank was at... Um, I That's, haven't you drinking. haven't been drinking, have you? No, yeah. I haven't. We went three days straight, no alcohol in Christchurch, and, and I had... Oh, I had a couple of wines at, um, at, at, at Sam and Joss's, with Hector. We had, they made the most beautiful dinner of five pillars, so like, gosh, it was nice. We had a couple of wines, to catch up. I bought one drink on the ferry. That's it. Yeah, nice one, babe. Oh, it's so nice to ride the bike without the panniers all on and way down. Look at the bush. <laughs> um, this is North Island bush for you. North Island bush. Uh, and the and the they do a hill climb up here. It's 16 kilometres long, exactly. And they... One six. Sorry? One six. Or six One six. six. Is that how long it takes to get up to the top? It's 16 kilometres long. Right. Yeah, to get to the top. And they do hill climbs up here. They race up here. I know because Paddy's brother Tim won it. In his, in his little three-cylinder charade, beat all the rally cars and everything. Did I hit the charade? Yeah. I had a guy hit the charade. You did. You a had a Dito one. Masso, didn't you? That was Ricardo flipping awesome. Beat. Yeah. No, that was perfect. It's got to Wanaka. Yeah. And Such a cool it. car. Such. I honestly, I, I, out of all the cars we've owned, and I've owned quite a few, that is yeah, definitely my favourite. Daihatsu charade, flipping I, great fun. Loved it. It's like a little boy, boy racer car. Yeah, it was a full on boy racer car. And the kids were teenagers and I used to drop them off at school, and all Jordan's mates and dad. Yeah. Outside of school. Hot mum turns up in a little <laughs> boy racer car. Skank. Like loud. So loud. <laughs> With happy hardcore blasting yeah. in there. <laughs> she was like, all right, mum, see you later. <laughs> Yes, you were famous for a little while there, weren't you? <laughs> it was fun. Cool car. But I had uh, the thermostat and stuffed on it, unfortunately. Well, actually, we, we put it on the market for sale, didn't we? Because we thought that the whole coolant system was just stuffed. Well, and just, it, well yeah, just before I, I actually got to the sale date, I changed the thermostat and it was working. I was like, ah, oh, crap. Maybe we shouldn't sell it. And just as I decided, nah, I'm not going to sell it, somebody said, yeah, I want to buy it. And I was like, ah, oh, damn it. I'm so we sold it. Chicago. Yeah. Yeah, so that was the uh, charade. Yes, I, I, I know this road very well in that... I've done it many times, but it's always been in winter in a four-wheel drive, never in a on a motorbike. Quite a good fun road, actually. Oh, so happy to see the sun. It yeah. was quite hard going yesterday. We were cold. It was, it was really cloudy and quite cold. Yeah, the road that the, that the, uh, the owner of the house was staying in recommended, that bit from back... Uh, what, uh, well, Funganui. Funganui to Oakuni was amazing, but neither of us were in the mood. We were arguing. We were tired. Very tired. We cold. were snappy. Kim was snapping at me. I was snapping at her. So it didn't go to plan, really. It was a bit of a shame. No, it all worked out well in the end. We got there safely. It was all good. Yeah, if you're very lucky and it's a very cold winter, you can snowboard all the way from the top of this volcano into town. It doesn't happen very often, but it does happen. What a road! <laughs> you see them falls? Mm -hmm.
magazine. Up here. Right. See the dark volcanic rock look? It's black. Yeah, like the in the lava. Mm-hmm. I remember this corner. I got stuck here once in my Isuzu Bighorn, just here. Not fun. This is the corner that everybody gets stuck on here when it's icy. This is horrendous. That looks like they're about to do... Tar seal it. I'm just going to put change to Enduro. There we go. Great, I mean, there's quite a few mountain roads now in New Zealand that have tar sealed, like Remarkable's particularly one, I think Coronet Peak. There's Remarkable's tar seal now, yeah. so I didn't know that. Yeah, most of the one pretty I haven't been out there a long time, but yeah, they are. They are doing it. Nice one. Mm. Yeah, this is really where all the Aucklanders from the city come yeah. to go snowboarding. There's two sides to this mountain. Whakapapa. There's Whakapapa, which is the other side. Which that's the is. that's the chateau. That's traditionally the side that you know started it all and then there's Turo which is this side we always love Turo which is right in front of us directly in front of us down that bit of snow there um, it is absolutely brilliant epic epic, epic. yeah awesome. look nice at this wide and yeah fantastic. this is an active volcano by the way It is live, um, and at the moment it's at level two. Well, I don't know what that means, but it's it's bubbling at the top at the moment. There's a little lake in the top bit, and uh, the lake is bubbling. <laughs> Looks amazing. Yeah, last time I came up here, there was no railing stopping you going off the edge. Your sister friend would love, look, I can see pathways and steps and stuff all the way through here. She would love this. I'm glad I wore my thermal underneath. It's quite I a bit chilly up chilly. <laughs> It was boiling hot down there. Wow. You have to see the... Um... Wow. All right, I'm going to concentrate on the road till I get to the top, Please otherwise do. we're going over the edge. I bet they don't get many motorbikers up here. Wow, this is like a trip down memory lane. Yeah, it, it is. Oh, look there. So you can come down the road, can't you? That's all you. If path, when you get really yeah. pro, you can come over the top here. Oh, babe, there's some good times here, aren't we? Look at that. Isn't that crazy? So you can see how far up it goes, it goes up bloody high. Yeah, so I've walked... Right up there. Right up there. Can you see that sort of almost glacial snow mm -hmm. and ice? You zigzag and then right at the top, just over the crest there, is a huge lake. And then I snowboarded all the way down to here. It doesn't look very high, but it is. It is. Trust We're us. nowhere near the top. Very high. <laughs> Pretty cool to see a ski field in summer though, isn't it? Mm. Wow, I can't believe we're here. That brings back so many memories. I'm going to park over there and see if we get a photo. And this is the little learner ski area. Um, and I'll just 
I'll just change to linear so people can get a better idea of um, how it looks. Because in super view, you won't see how close we are. Right. Yeah, so that's all volcanic rock that's spewed out of the, the, the volcano. Pretty cool. Very cool. Yeah, so you must wear a helmet in New Zealand because... Yeah, because you get rocks poking through the yeah. snow, don't you? If you fall over and whack your head, it'll split your head open like an egg. <laughs> like look, th look this way. Look, like a watermelon. <laughs> right, let me get a photograph of you. I'm going to put that back on um, Super View, but hopefully that gives you a better idea. The GoPro, unfortunately, doesn't pick up things that are far away very well, does it? Not particularly. Can you get one from up? Oh. Do such weird angles. I'm trying to keep it interesting. <laughs> Make me look like a... Sh Fat little dumpy <laughs> You are. I'm not. I am if you do it up. Hold uh, the up. sun is right behind you. That's the. <laughs> you are terrible at photos. There's a really annoying sun glare on it. Okay, that'll do. Let's get a selfie. Can do you ever see anybody taking photos down here? Just stand. Looking up? Yes, actually. No. Professional no. photographers like me. You're not. <laughs> <laughs> see if we can get all with the bike in as well. Yeah, that's it. Tip your head that way. There you go. Okay, that'll do. Let me get some of you. All right. Let's see. Show you. you show me how to take a good photo then, smart ass. Hang on, it's doing something. Oh, fuzzy. You've probably pressed something with your little fat finger. I haven't. Now, go back, go back. It's come right now. Yeah, can't you get one like that of me? Okay, swap. Um, here. Okay, done. The mountain in the background. Okay. Yes, boss. <laughs> you expect me to take a photograph of a potato and turn it into a flower? It's the angles that you use. No, it's not the sometimes, angles. Sometimes you, you're good, but when you get down on the ground and look up, what are you doing? That's not how you take a photograph, <laughs> you weirdo. <laughs> it's like people who phone me up and say, uh, I need a new roof. Can you make my house look new? No, I can replace the roof, <laughs> but it's still badly designed. Oh, what are you trying to say there? Right, jump on. This is a perfect design. <laughs> I will have to know. Yes, top wiener. Right, let's just pop over the back and get some photos over. Okay, go on the dirty bit, on the dirt bit. Chilly. Definitely chilly. Yeah, it's 13 degrees chilly up here. So by that rock. Not too near the edge though, please. Oh, you don't want to go over there, like fully to the edge. Where the rock is. No. Ah, just... uh, the amount of times we've parked in here, babe, and stomped up in our snowboarding and skiing gear. I think it would kill me now, to be honest. Right, stop, 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 Tom. All right, jump off. Wow. Yeah. Apparently you can see on a good day Mount Egmont. You can mm. on a good day. It's right over there. Unfortunately, there's just a little layer of cloud there, isn't there? Right, with the camera. You're very bossy at the moment. I think it's doing them stupid moving photos things that I hate them. <laughs> <laughs> doing something weird. <laughs> oh dear. All right, spectacular. Absolutely yeah. amazing. We've yeah. snowboarded 
down all of these different routes over these cliffs, everything. Mm -hmm. It's brilliant. 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 It's about, from the top to the bottom, it's at least half an hour to come oh. down. Oh, it's longer than that. You think? Yeah, oh yeah, easily. It is deceptive how big that is. It is. It doesn't look that it big. It took me three hours to walk up that face mm. and about 15 minutes to come down. It I was mean, if you're keen, you probably still could walk up there and ski down that or snowboard down there. Yeah, it'll be sheer ice today. Yeah, it'll be now, really yeah. slippy. You need to wait to the start or the end of you winter. Get around, babe, and then I'll get on. <laughs> Just thinking, it's like the the barber. I went to the barber, as I said, cheekily, make me, he said, what do you want? And I said, make me beautiful. He said, I only do hair, mate. <laughs> <laughs> Classic. Speaking of which, I think there is a barber in Oakuni. Mm. Well, I'll have a look. I might get my hair cut today. It is getting a bit of a mop. Um, I reckon we should go to the powder keg. Just just to have a look this afternoon, have a beer. Yeah, definitely. But right now we've got two, um, we've got a few bits of to get to town, haven't we? Yeah. Tom wants to get another coffee, I think. Yeah, I, I'm definitely keen for another coffee. Ooh, that's chilly. <laughs> ah. I've got, I've, I'm quite addicted to kombucha at the moment. It's um, disgusting. I love it. It's really good for your gut health. Oh, I've sort of been drinking a lot of that. I kind of um, having the school. You can actually make it, but I just can't bother doing all that. So just it's just drinking slime juice. No, it's not. Yes, it is. It's made out of a big mouldy piece of slime. <laughs> it's disgusting. I didn't know what it was, so I looked it up, and it's literally pink slime. <laughs> it's like snail shit. It's disgusting. It's not. That's what it's made from, but that's not what the drink is. I know, but it's disgusting. It's yeah, 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 I'm sure it is. It's got a um, quite unusual flavour. Yeah, foul flavour. Right, take it to the Yes. Heading up to the funny north. My sister Kirsty sent me a photo of her and her husband I'm on the boat in the Bay of Islands. Beautiful turquoise water, calm. Sun was out, her paddleboard just sitting there. Oh, like paradise. Yeah, it's going to be good to get up there. So with the dependent they're going to take us out on the boat for a couple of days which will yeah, we'll video, we'll do some fishing, some yeah. sea fishing. Yeah, and they go diving, so... Um, yeah, we'll get some crayfish and some cray scallops. And yeah, it's going to be great. Nothing like fresh scallops. Mm. Yeah, straight out the sea, straight yeah. onto the barbie. Yeah. I think Kerry's got a fish smoker too, so he, um, quite often you go onto the beach with a bottle of wine and sit there and smoke the fish and chat. It's just awesome. I love it. They've got a wee um, dinghy, you know, like a little, what do they call those things? The, um, the blow-up inflatable thing? Don't know. It's got a special name. Anyway, the inflatable dinghy with the motor on it. Zodiac something, I think, or something, I don't know. So we can go um, tutoring around the bay. Have a little... Yeah, I have to explain what tutuing means. Tutuing is um, Kiwi phrase. That's Maori. It? Yeah, it just means like going for a, a little... Go look. for a tutu means go for a look. Yeah, going for a wee wander, a little mm. um, exploration. Should teach them some Maori. I don't know much, but I know puku is tummy, because I've got a big puku. And kai <laughs> is food. Kai is food. When you need my friend Karen around, Karen's really good with the Maori. Yeah. Maori lingo. Far now is family. That's it. Tamariki is children. children. 
I love that word, tamariki. Tamariki. Yeah. Moku is grandkid, I think. My moku, uh, grandchildren, I think. Moku is. Uh, and then there's, um, I, know the, I know some of the colours. And uh, I can't think of any right now. Um, Harimai, Harimai. Harimai is hello. Is hello. Christine Road, isn't it? I actually know an entire Maori song off my heart. Sing it. It's called Tide Mai. Toto Fa. <laughs> <laughs> Am I just singing? It's going to be terrible, though. Go on, sing it. <laughs> Toto Waiata. Uh, Toto Fa. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm not you see, I'm better at Mara than you thought. <laughs> it's like, oppe, get out of. Oppe, get out of. It's like, here's our heads there. Toto, fa. Ah, Toto, fa, off you go. <laughs> if you are of the mind that you did want to learn the language, it is readily available. Readily available. Yeah, here isn't it to you? Lessons and it, it's all around you. It, I think, sort of coming from Europe, being a little bit, I, I can speak Italian and I'm, Kim's pretty damn good at French. We're used to other languages, so we quite enjoy the Maori language. And actually, the same with um, the islands. Like I oh, love learning yeah. the, the you know, Island, the Cook yeah. Island languages are brilliant. It's, it's Cook Island Maori, which is very similar, obviously. To here. Um, oh, is it? Mom, I didn't know that. My mum speaks. But then, a bit you, of it. like Samoan, is different again, isn't it? Yeah. But the base, kind of the base words, are very similar. Very similar, yeah. But um, Cook Island Maori is, um, it's like instead of Kiora, which is hello, here it's Kiorana. Um, yeah, they say like Kiorana in Rarotonga, don't they? Yeah, in Rarotonga. Very similar, but different. Same, same, but different. Right, what do you want to do now? It's a beautiful day. We could go to the hot pools. No, I don't. I, Too far. I, it is quite far, to be honest. I prefer if we're going to go to the hot pools. The go, two ringy ones aren't, aren't flash. Like, they're, they're hot, but they're not flash. Go to um, in Rotorua. And it'll be full of kids for holidays. Ah, true that. The ones in Rotorua are amazing. They've got quite a few of them, different ones. There's ones in the valley that we like to go to. Okay, let's do that. They're just gorgeous. Oh, you mean the one in the river? Oh, there is the one in the river, the natural yeah. one. It's Taupo. Yeah, that's got brain-eating bacteria in it. Yeah, amoebas. Yeah. You can still flush it. You can. You just, you just can't your... swallow it or let it go in your ears or eyes. Or in your willy. Yeah, you have to tie a knot in it for me before I get it. <laughs> <laughs> Which nowadays is more difficult than it used to be. Yeah, this is great fun. I'm really glad we got out of bed. Oh, sorry. That was a Sharpie. I should know that. I know this road very well. Um, no, well, uh, there, there is the, the, yeah, the natural stream, hot stream, and how far it's awesome. You can just listen it. There's lots of places you can go that you don't have to pay natural thermals, natural thermals in the North yeah. Island. Um, like however, I'm saying that the ones that you pay for are sort of a bit special, aren't they? Oh, they're quite amazing. Like yeah. the one that looks out over the valley, that's amazing. That's yeah. our favourite one. But I'd also like to go to something to speak. The blue, the blue pool. Not the blue pools, the coloured pools. You know, well, the, uh, there is, there's, there's uh, ones in... Rotorua that we've actually never done before, so we should try maybe doing something new. There's the ones behind the uh, Maori village, up on the side of the hill that we've oh, never. Oh, Yeah, fuck away, wera wera. Fuck away, wera wera. I can't say that. Fuck away, wera. Fuck away, wera wera. No, it's not wearer, baby. You've got to roll your ass. Fuck a rare, 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 r
Yeah, yeah I can't do that one. We'd have a few drinks and then Tom would try and say, Pakarewa, Ah! Oh, the redwood forest. Oh, it's so beautiful. Yeah, there is so much to do. We We've still got two weeks, but we've got a long way to go still. Way up north, yeah. We've got to go right up north. It's another at least 10 hours from here to where yeah. we've got to go. Well, it's three hours from Auckland, I think. Maybe right, three, in a car. Hours. In a car. Yeah, it's definitely some new places going up. So. Not many. It really hasn't changed that much, it, if anything. I was kind of expecting it to have blossomed a little bit, and it hasn't. It, A, hasn't really changed, and if anything, it's not as vibrant as I remember it. And I think well, that's... Well, you've got to think where it is. It's a I, natural Yeah, I, I know that, but I, if you'd let me finish, I was going to say we've come in summer, and it's definitely a winter town. Yeah, it's a resort, winter resort. Yeah. yeah. But the thing is, it's miles from anywhere, like from any civilization. So, when you live here, you're pretty much stuck here. Even though it's a beautiful spot, mm. there's nothing really to do in summer, unless you like bushwalking or hiking. Do you want to get a coffee, or do you want to do that on the way back? No, uh, we'll park the bike, we'll put a shorts and t-shirt on, and we will walk back into town, and I'll get a coffee while you go and get your eye things. No. Oh. All right, all right, uh, <laughs> you've got to have your kombucha. Hmm. Yeah, I really like where we're staying. This is a great spot. This is on Airbnb for those people that might want to come here one day. Perfect little house. If you're in a, a group of bikers, this is the perfect location. Yeah, because it's got like loads of beds. It's got two bunk beds and um, two double rooms. Double. Oh! <laughs> Ow. Every time you do that, I'm going to do that. That's not fair. <laughs> All right, here we go. Yeah, it's a brilliant little place. It is. I freaking love it. <laughs> All right, jump off. I'm going to turn the bike around. I might get you to push me. No, no. We're not going to use it again today, are we? So I'm just going to stick it around the corner, out of the way. There you go, folks. 